Here we go. We've got a another Power Rangers Lightning Collection Hasbro Dino Charge Blue Ranger unit here. Um, I I think there's still more Dino Charges that I gotta get. I can't remember. <laughs> this was one that I unfortunately had to cancel. Um, thanks to a uh, money troubles. But I managed to find these in the wild, and guess what? Target price matched them to their website for seven dollars cheaper <laughs> than uh, Hasbro Pulse was charging. So I'll take that as a win. <sighs> now I'm trying to make this a little easier for anyone in case of my passing or. Uh, <laughs> needing to sell these. Uh, so I'm taking off the UBC for each one. Ta-da! Put them with the extras. Uh, I believe, uh, I'm trying to remember what this guy's name was in the show. Coda? Something like that. Um, yeah, it actually says it right there. Look, they're actually putting the names on there. Um, one thing with these Hasbro uh, Lightning Collection figures is that they really haven't gotten better in the last, what, four years they've been out? Five years? It's been a minute. Um, they're just kind of the same the whole time. They don't get much better. Sometimes they get worse. Um, that's, just, that's just something I've noticed uh, throughout it. So I feel like every time that I open one of these, I'm just going to be telling you the same thing. But at least we get different characters. Um, and I, I think this might be the last Dino Charge that I need. There might actually... No, you know what? There's a couple of them that we haven't even announced. Of coming out, so... Right. Let's see what we got here. We got... So you can switch out their hands. Um, he, of course, does not have a place to put his goofy gun. I hate this gun. Uh, and then... Uh, got our grabby hands here. Uh, so I'm going to give him the grabby hands. These come out pretty good. <laughs> versus some of the other Hasbro figures that I've messed with. I don't understand where they're getting the plastics different. On. Sorry, I gotta do this off camera. These are real thin, and I don't trust them uh, to go on too easily. Uh, for the most part, I display these without the human heads on them. I had a lofty idea a long time ago that I was going to get bodies from things and i think shardimus prime had a thing where he was going to do human bodies and i was really excited for it because i was like oh sweet maybe he could literally just make it so we could get like you know the the human versions of each one of these characters i there's like 400 of these i'm not gonna be able to do that uh i would like the mighty Morphin crew um to have street clothes i'm actually fairly surprised that we haven't gotten that already from Hasbro, um, since they love using those, those figures quite a, reusing them as many times as possible, put them in a two pack with their street clothes version, uh, but I digress, uh, let's see what we got here, there we go, he cut, there's his lightning effect, Oh, look at that. That's a little loose. This is what I'm saying. They, they just, they've stayed kind of flat when it comes to um, sculpt. Uh, the faces have gotten a little better. But, so if, if you get one of these, I feel like you've gotten them all. And that's kind of weird to say because, I mean... Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. It, it just, something feels off on it. 
I feel like at some point they should be upping the ante <laughs> or minimally giving us more instead of less. This guy actually came with quite a bit of stuff. I've had some of them where they come with like nothing but hands. So these two hands and this are going to go into a bag. I'm going to have to re-up my bags. I've been getting a bunch of figures in lately. Uh, case in point, uh, although the, the orb here did come with, uh, did come with a, um, build a figure piece, he didn't really come with anything else. <laughs> now, my opinion on these Power Ranger figures is, um, for the price that they're trying to pull on them, they need to be doing a build a figure with them. Um, because the monsters don't sell that well, but I would like them. And, uh, like the Piran like the Snizzard that came out. It doesn't even have to be, like, that specific. Um, it doesn't have to be that power. It should just be that wave. But then you know what wave is what. Because I just had a heck of a time trying to figure out what wave this was. So this wave consists of Coda here. Um... The green Fury Ranger, which I have next. And I believe it's the yellow Beast Morphers Ranger. Um, and a putrid from, of all things, I think Wild Force. Maybe it's not Wild Force. It's it's one of the ones where they, it's just a bunch of animals um, for Zords. But I didn't get a putrid because I have no need for that. So up next we've got... The Green Ranger, I did pick her up as well, and um, one of these I forgot to check to make sure that it was actually the figure that was inside the box, so we're going to have fun with that. Uh, if you did like this video, please like, subscribe, comment, and until next time, I'm Alpha Magnus, these are toys.